we meet in the name of God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit, God is one. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength, ascribe to the Lord the honour due to his name, the whole earth is full of his glory. The Lord shall give strength to his people. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. God the Father forgives us in Christ, and heals us by the Holy Spirit. Let us therefore put away all anger and bitterness, all slander and malice, and confess our sins to God our Redeemer. Father, you come to meet us when we return to you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you died on the cross for our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Spirit, you give us life and peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Father of all mercies cleanse us from our sins and restore us in his image to the praise and glory of his name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, and marked off the heavens with a span, enclosed the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the spirit of the Lord, or as his counsellor has instructed him? 
Whom did he consult for his enlightenment? And who taught him the path of justice? Who taught him knowledge and showed him the way of understanding? Even the nations are like a drop from a bucket and are accounted as dust on the scales. See, he takes up the isles like fine dust. Lebanon would not provide fuel enough, nor are its animals enough for a burnt offering. All the nations are as nothing before him. They are accounted by him as less than nothing and emptiness. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Have you not known, have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, to the end of the age. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Living love, beginning and end, giver of food and drink, clothing and warmth, love and hope, life in all its goodness. We praise and adore you. Jesus, wisdom and word, lover of outcasts, friend of the poor, one of us yet one with God, crucified and risen, life in the midst of death. We praise and adore you. Holy Spirit, storm and breath of love, bridge builder, eye opener, waker of the oppressed, unseen and unexpected, untamable energy of life. We praise and adore you. Holy Trinity, forever one, whose nature is community, source of all sharing, in whom we love and meet and know our neighbour. Life in all its fullness, making all things new. We praise and adore you. God, the Holy Trinity, make you strong.
High and holy God, robed in majesty, Lord of heaven and earth, we pray that you will bring justice, faith and salvation to all peoples. Especially we pray for those countries which are already affected by war, poverty and drought, and which are ill-equipped to cope with the added pressures brought about by coronavirus. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. You chose us in Christ to be your people and to be the temple of your Holy Spirit. We pray that you will fill your church with vision and hope. Especially we pray for the worship and mission of the church as we seek new ways of blending a continuing online presence with the gradual return towards meeting together in person. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Your spirit enables us to cry, Abba, Father, affirms that we are fellow heirs with Christ and pleads for us in our weakness. We pray for all who are in need or distress. Especially we pray for all those who have suffered illness or loss as a result of the coronavirus epidemic. And in the silence, we name before God those known to us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In the baptism and birth of Jesus, you have opened heaven to us and enabled us to share in your glory the joy of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit from before the world was made. May your whole church, living and departed, come to a joyful resurrection in your city of light. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Holy God, faithful and unchanging, enlarge our minds with the knowledge of your truth and draw us more deeply into the mystery of your love, that we may truly worship you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Saviour taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen.